when the world's worst violence was done to them, not by them, to them, not by them. For God's sake, you want to do racist stereotypes? If it fit anywhere, and it doesn't, but if it any, fit anywhere, it would certainly fit white right wingers of the South, who has hundreds of years of history of being savages, savages. They snatch babies and they sold them as property and they raped their mothers. Savages. That's what they were. You want to talk about stereotypes? Screw all of you who still defend that Confederacy. That monstrosity, anyone who defends that is a barbaric savage. All right, Shalom, Kahalayam Laya, how about Shimmy? I was shot by Shimra Kakodash, the honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who really teach well. Must peace, love, and salutation to all the brothers' strength, work, and truth and sincerity. Shalom, this is your young brother Batak back again through the spirit with another lesson. Um, Lord willing, it's edifying. Um, so, this actually is uh, going to be a remake. I actually had, you know, was already pre-recorded this, but I got a phone call, and somewhere, somehow, some way, my recording got deleted when I had included this video of him going in on who are the true savages are, which are the, you know, he saw Edom as the true savages, true savages of the earth. So I wanted to come back and redo it, re-record it, you know, get that, you know, video on on, on record. And um, get a couple definitions for the word savage, and then I'm gonna close it out because I already did the rest of the lesson. It's just a terrible sequence of events, but Salakia trying to get things together. Uh, the word savage it says a wild person, human being from an uncivilized region or a tribe or race of a lower state of development. And that is Esau Edom because look at look at the time when they had when there was uh they got cast. They got casted down. They wasn't in power. They was living like savages. They was living like the wild man, you know. This, the, the book, they wrote a book about the wild man, which was a, a, a Edomite, a Edomite, a hairy Edomite that lived in the, in the caves, in the woods, man. You know, the wild man. That's the, nat, that's the natural state of you devils, man. And um, another thing, too, you Esau Edom, he's the only nation in history to have that type of history of being a caveman he's the only he he's the only nation that had that history because the lord is the one that did to them did that to them devils man he made he he did them like that made them uh cavemen cavemen and cave women picking bugs off of each other man you know that's the state that it was in they didn't they didn't speak they they bear like like animals because they was animals man the Lord reduced him to a very low state, man. <sighs> and it is Esau Edom. He's the true savage of the earth. And he's going to pay. It says, uh, a, un a unfeeling, brutal, or cruel person, whether civilized or not. And that's what Esau is. He's a, he's a unfeeling, brutal, and a cruel person because Psalms. No, Proverbs 12 and 10 tells you that the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Because Esau, Edom, he's a cruel one. He, he, he cares. He don't, give a, he don't give a damn, man. He's cruel. He don't, give a, he don't give a fuck, man. You know? That's the nature of the soul. Esau, Edom, man. That's his nature. It's in him to be like that, man. He was created like that. Jeremiah 13 and 23 tells you that. He was accustomed to do evil. He was made a barbarous uh, savage, man. But yeah, he want to call our people savages. They learned it from who? From you. Our people learn savagery from you, Esau. So you are the true savages of the earth. And your is going to repay every last one of you devils. So with that, man, I'm going to close it out. You know, I already continued. I already did the second part of this lesson because the first part got deleted. So I just wanted to get that on wax. So with that, man, I'm going to uh, say shalom to the next time.